What is going on everybody and welcome back to my Cybersecurity Fundamentals series. My name is Colin and today we're going to be talking about one of the core security goals, confidentiality. This video will have a lot of overlap with the Security Plus exam, so if you're currently studying for that or thinking about it, you're in the right place. Let's get right into it. Confidentiality ensures that only authorized individuals may access certain data. In the next few minutes, we will be discussing how organizations ensure confidentiality. The topics I will be covering are encryption, access controls, and steganography and obfuscation. The goal of this video is to briefly introduce you to these topics that I will be discussing later on in their each individual videos. One of the main ways that organizations ensure confidentiality is through encryption. Encryption encodes the data to make it unreadable by those who do not possess the special encryption key. Only those with the encryption key can read the data. There are two types of encryption, symmetric and asymmetric, each with their disadvantages and advantages. There are multiple different encryption algorithms. I'm not going to be getting into detail on these different encryption algorithms yet, but it is important to understand this because implementations of weak encryption algorithms are putting the confidentiality of data at risk. Now we're going to be talking about access controls. Identification, authentication, and authorization combined provide access controls that help ensure only authorized personnel can access information. Users claim an identity with a unique username. For example, you and I both have YouTube accounts with different usernames. When we type in our username, we are claiming the identity of our individual account. Authentication is when users prove their identity. This could be by providing a password. Authorization is when a system or person grants the user's access based off of the permissions assigned to that user within the system. Let's touch a little on steganography and obfuscation because they are on the Security Plus exam. Steganography is the process of hiding data within data. An example of this is hiding a message within a picture. Obfuscation is the process of making something unclear or difficult to understand. This is an example of security by obscurity. It is important to note that organizations will not rely solely on these methods, but they are important to understand because they may come up during an incident investigation or an investigation into a user. Thank you very much for checking out my Cybersecurity Fundamentals series. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and giving me a like on this video.